Top Gear star James May was reportedly flung into a wall at 75 miles per hour after a stunt went badly wrong, leaving him with a broken rib. James, 59, is understood to have sought medical attention and needed a brain scan before being given the all clear. James was reportedly filming a stunt with his Grand Tour co-stars Jeremy Clarkson and Richard Hammond. They were taking it in turns to speed rally cars in a tunnel, hurtling towards a brick wall. But the dark tunnel in a Norwegian naval base only gave the drivers three seconds to react if they needed to suddenly maneuver. According to the Mirror, James braked too late and jackknifed into the wall, needing to be helped out of his Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 8 before being rushed to hospital. Express.co.uk has contacted a representative for James for comment. Richard has also suffered some terrible crashes in his career. While filming for Series 2 of the Grand Tour, Hammond's electric supercar caught fire, and smashed his knee to pieces. In 2019, he told the Mirror, it does hurt a bit from time to time. It has metal and bolts in it. It ain't going to get any better and will need replacing one day but you put that off as long as you can because new ones don't last very long. I run and am quite active so I would wear it out really quickly. I'm going to try and function with my own dodgy knee for as long as I can. Also, technically it's a machine, so I'd probably crash it. The producer from Grand Tour revealed the full extent of this catastrophic crash when talking to the Sunday Mirror. When they saw the wreckage on fire they thought Richard was dead. It was really bad, he revealed. If Richard had been a few seconds slower getting out, he would have been incinerated. According to the producer, it was a miracle that Richard survived the crash which occurred up the Hamburg Hill climb. The TV star developed depression as a result. In 2006, he had also been left in a coma after another high-speed crash while filming Top Gear. While he was traveling at 319 miles per hour, the front right tire of his car failed, flipping over the vehicle. He had to be cut out with hydraulic shears and could have died. Richard's eye was damaged and when he awoke from his coma he suffered from post-traumatic amnesia and a five-second memory, 